Now, Australia's schools have for most of our lives been staffed and run by dedicated professionals who sought to give even the most disruptive kids enough basic skills to function in society. And as a result, Australia has, has been mostly a country of people who couldn't easily be fooled. Or as I put it on Monday night, quoting the late great cartoonist Bill Leake, we were a nation that called bullshit wherever we saw it. Or we used to be. These days we are surrounded by lies and deception and an alarming number of people are simply oblivious to it, or worse, fooled by it. Similarly, it's getting increasingly difficult not to conclude that the people who are deceiving us on such grand scales these days are not only aware they are lying, but are also aware that they are systematically destroying the country we once knew. It's one of the reasons we here at ADH TV get out of bed in the mornings, and it's clearly one of the reasons you tune into our shows. The Australia we grew up in has disappeared and it is being replaced by something we are all deeply uncomfortable with. Few things illustrate this better than the education system itself. Now, this is not to say there are no good teachers in the system, there are, and teaching is a noble profession. But the system has for the past two decades, if not longer, been increasingly obsessed with indoctrinating our kids with mindless, woke rubbish in lieu of the basic education we grew up with. So they can barely function as adults, let alone deal with the complex challenges of life. When I used to drop my kids off at primary school a decade and a half ago, I used to do so knowing that I'd later need to find ways of drumming out of their young minds whatever superficial environmental rubbish the curriculum was trying to force into them. But these days, parents wish they were that lucky. The latest national school curriculum, which was aptly passed by all state and federal governments on April 1 this year, and will be introduced next year, is a monument of interconnected wokeness. Where education used to be based on literacy and numeracy, it is increasingly focused on two new concepts. The historical fiction that Australia was stolen from the in original inhabitants and is therefore partly illeg illegitimate, and the overarching fear that everything we do is in one way or another destroying the planet. I'm not joking. The new curriculum is online and its priorities are clear when you search the words in it. Sustainability appears 281 times, more so than, for example, multiplication, which only appears 274 times, and far more often than grammar, which crops up a paltry 72 times. Who needs spelling and punctuation when the only things you write are on a device that corrects these for you anyway? And as for Shakespeare, well, the bard is mentioned a grand total of once. There is something rotten in the state of our education system. This is not going to produce positive, hardworking, independent and creative adults. So imagine the dilemma of parents who have been dropping their kids off at school at the school gates these past few months. Compounding all this indoctrination is the fact that we are now going through possibly the worst teacher shortage in our history.